Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have really interesting, relaxing and easy school challenge x plus y equal to 5 and xy equal to 5. And a lot of students confused how did it happen, the thumb equal to 5 and a product equal to 5, but everything is possible in math, so right now let's solve this really interesting school question. So first of all we have x plus y equal to 5, so from here we can easily express our x and plug in into the second equation. So let's do this, let's do this easy step. First of all our x equal to 5 minus y, okay, from the first, from this equation, x equal to 5 minus, I, minus y. And this very important thing for us, we're going to use this a little bit later, so x equal to 5 minus i. And right now let's plug in this x right here into the second, into the second equation. So we have right here 5 minus y, and times right here we have this y, and equal to, equal to 5. Right now let's multiply this parenthesis by y, as a result what do we have right here? We have 5y, minus y square equal to equal to 5. Right now it looks like a quadratic equation, we have the second power, we have the first power, we have a coefficient, but we prefer a little bit different order. So right now minus y square, let's let's plug in right here in the, in the first position. The next we have plus 5y, and the next thing we have minus 5 from the right side we have minus 5 equal to 0. But we prefer, we prefer plus sign right here. So right now let's multiply, let's divide by minus 1. When we multiply and we divide by minus 1 it changed nothing for us, but as a result we have right here plus. So we have y square minus 5y and plus 5 equal to equal to zero. So really great. Right now this is a basic quadratic equation, everyone know how can I solve it, but first of all let's for example find a discriminant, okay? So when we find our discriminant which is equal to b square minus 4ac, let's plug in, in, in this coefficient into this spot, so right here right here minus 5 square, right here right here minus 5 square, minus 4 times 1 and times 5, as a result we have right here 25, minus 4 times 5 equal to equal to 20. So as a result of a discriminant is positive, so which is which is really great. So right here we have two pairs of solution in real numbers, which is really good for us. So right now let's plug in this discriminant into this into this basic school formula. So y first and y second equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. Let's do this. Let's plug in this this coefficient into this into this spot. So y first and y second equal to minus b. We have it here minus minus five. Yeah. The next thing we have plus minus square root of discriminant square root of five, and we divide all of the thing by by two. And right now minus minus five we have plus so plus plus minus square root of 5 and all over, all over 2. And this is, these are our y first and y second. The first one with the plus sign, for example, the second one with the, with the minus sign. But let's find our, our x. First of all, let's simplify this a little bit. It's really hard to work with this, with this fraction. For example, let's write it in another way. So y first and y second will be equal to, let's, let's divide 5 over 2, we can easily divide it like that, and plus square root of 5 over 2. It changed nothing for us, but in the same way it helps us a lot to find our x, because 5 over 2 it's really great to express as 2.5. So our y first and y second equal to 2.5 plus minus, over here, right here, plus minus, yeah, plus minus, square root of 5 over, over 2. Really great. So right now let's go back to our substitution. We have not like substitution, just expression x equal to 5 minus y. And let's rewrite the thing right here. So for example right here, so x equal to 5 minus y. Because we have like two, two roots, so in the same way we have like x first and x second. So let's write our y first with the plus sign, so 2.5 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is our y first. And we have right here the same thing with y second equal to 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2. And let's plug in e each of this expression into this spot. So as a result we have x first when we plug in y first right here and x second when we plug in y second right here. Let's for example start with, with x first. Okay, x first equal to 5 minus y, so 5 minus this y first 2.5 plus square root of 5 over over 2. As a result, what do we have right here? x first equal to 5 minus 2.5 and minus square root of 5 over 2. As a result, x first equal to, when we subtract 5 minus uh, 2.5, we will have like 2.5 
minus square root of 5 over over 2. Really great. And the same thing with y second. So we have right here x second equal to 5 minus, we're going to plug in this y second into this spot. So 5 minus 2.5 minus square root of 5 over, over 2. Okay, so x second equal to 5 minus 2.5 and plus square root of 5 over, over 2. And right now, x second equal to 5 minus 2.5, we have 2.5 plus square root of 5 over 2. And these are our pairs of solutions. So let's write our final answer and then we will check our solutions. So let's do the thing right now. So our pairs, let's let's separate, let's split this solution by the second part when we prove our solution right here. So our x and y, our x and y equal to, right here we have x first 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2 and the y first 2.5 plus square root of 5 over over 2. This is our first pair of solution and the second pair of solution right here we have x for x second 2.5 2.5 plus square root of 5 over 2 and the second one we have right here 2.5 minus square root of 5 over over 2. These are our two pairs of solution, but let's check it because in the beginning we have our our equation x plus y equal to 5 and x y equal to 5. Let's check the solution. Let's check our roots right here. First of all, let's rewrite on the on the left side right here our equation. So x plus y equal to 5 and x y equal to equal to 5. Let's check. Let's check one of these solutions. Doesn't matter. We can easily use one of these because we don't need to check both of these because we have addition and multiplication, which is a great uh, math operation according to according to check a root because this looks like addition and multiplication. This is a really great thing to check one of these roots. We don't need to check both of these. For example, let's check, uh, let's check for example, this one. So first of all, we have x plus y equal to 5. And let's check this root. For example, let's check this pair of solutions. So we have right here x 2.5 minus square root of 5 over 2. And we have right here plus, plus y, y this one, 2.5 plus square root of 5 over 2. And really great thing because this is equal to, you need to be equal to 5, but minus square root of 5 over 2 and plus square root of 5 over 2 we can easily cancel. 2.5 plus 2.5 equal to, equal to 5. So we have plus 5 equal to Five. So, which is which is a really great solution for us. But we have the second equation, x y equal to five. Let's see what will happen right here. So let's do this. So we have right here x y equal to equal to five. So we have right here the same thing x. Let's do this. So two point five minus square root of five over two, and we multiply this by two point five plus square root of five over over 2. And right now a lot of students confuse, a lot of students multiply these parentheses by each other, this coefficient by this parentheses, this coefficient by this parentheses. But if you look closely, this is a formula, a square minus b square. So if you remember from school, we have a square minus b square. This is our a minus b times a plus b. I don't need to write a minus b, a plus b, but I hope you see this thing right now. So we have a, we have b, and we have a minus b, a plus b. So it means that this is like a difference of squares. This is our school identity. So as a result, we have 2.5. We have right here squared minus square root of 5 over 2. We have, we have squared. 2.5 to the second power from school. We need to know that this is equal to 6.25 minus square root of 5 over 2 equal to mm, to the second power equal to 5 over 4 yeah because this is equal to uh, 5 this is square we have we have 4 so we have right here 5 over 4 which is equal to 5 over 4 this is 1.25 so we have right here 6.25 let's let's continue for example right here so our last step 6.25 minus 1.25 equal to equal to 5. So the second equation is also a correct a correct for us. So as a result we can easily say that this is a correct solution, this is a correct a correct answer. We can easily check the second one but just agree with me it changed nothing for us when we have like this parenthesis right here, this parenthesis right here. If you're talking about the second pair of solution, we just change right here in order. And if you're talking about the addition, it changed nothing because then we will cancel plus square root of 2 minus square root of 5 over over 2. So we will cancel like in a different order, but it generally it changed nothing. So we can easily say that this is a solution to our 
to our question. Let's write our final answer. This is our, this is our answer right here. So we will have this answer right here because I don't have enough space in the end of the paper. Yeah, we, this, is our, this is our final answer to this question. I hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new. You can also write your your solution down into the comment section. Let's exchange information. It will be really interesting to look about your solution down into the comment section, your approach, your really great tricks right here, because a lot of solutions, uh, it's much better when we have only one solution. Maybe you have your own approach or your like faster approach. I'll solve this challenge according to basic school knowledge. Yeah, because, because according to a basic school, school rules right here, we express we express x equal to 5 minus 5, we're going to plug into the second equation and we go through the steps, basic quadratic equation and basic, basic check this, checking this solution. So this is basic school approach. Maybe you have your, your own and faster approach. It will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your support. Thank you everyone for supporting my videos. It inspires me a lot. It, it helps me to make a new content every day to find really interesting, generally in really interesting math Olympiad question, basic school question a higher mathematic question so i really it really inspires me a lot so i i try my best to to make mathematics more like more like powerful for you more more easier for you each month it is a really great thing for me so thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos